what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, and we are already into the thick of things here in the arena. I am joined by Spanish pro Soaking from Team Queso. He is one of my favorite players to watch, and he is so, so dominant. He came in number five in the MVP out of all uh, EU and NA. Arguably, he could have been ranked even higher. He had one of the highest one versus one win rates in all of CRL. I'm so happy to be joined by him today. Day. And as you can see, he's currently A in 2 in a grand challenge, so there's no margin for error. If he has one loss, well, this video is, is done. So we'll hope that he at least gets to maybe 11 wins. Maybe he'll even win it all, so we actually have a viable video to share with you guys today. So what deck is he playing? Well, you guys can see in the deck link below me, or the deck, uh, the, the deck screenshot below me, is it is cra it's a mirror deck a mirror dark goblin bandit mega knight e drag deck but the crazy thing about it is i don't think i've ever shared a an, an actual competitively viable mirror deck ever on this channel because mirror it just it oftentimes is just not worth it to pay that extra elixir even though you're getting that extra level but for whatever reason soaking says this deck actually works and he loves playing it so hopefully we'll see the value of the mirror throughout these matches. And you can see the first match here is probably a, a, a Lava Hound without the Balloon deck, I imagine here, going against uh, Sismus from Polish team. And the last card, of course, in Soaking's deck is the Mega Knight, which you're probably not gonna be using a ton here in the Lava, Lava Hound matchup. So we'll see how he does here as we enter into double elixir time. The uh, Lava Hound comes down, there goes the Mirrored Bandit, already getting some mirror value there. And then he actually does get to the tower with those goblins taking a ton of damage off that tower and he keeps the cycle going here and now he's going to play some defense with the e-drag and whoa i stand corrected it is a lava loon deck so we got you covered lava loon guys as the first replay the mirror dark goblin again coming in handy here playing some defense can he stop this push the e-drag putting in some work and it looks like he cleans up pretty well. It could have been worse, but remember, the opponent does have Fireball and Zap. So here we go, a big aggressive push coming in for, here for Soaking. He's gonna take the tower down. I don't know about that Fireball. I don't know about that Fireball from the opponent. With 13 seconds left, how are they gonna get the tower down? They have to kind of go in with a balloon here, and they do, so a balloon coming down the lane. A Miner comes in as well. Bandit catches that Miner. Three, two, one. Oh, he comes up with a victory, thank God, because as I said, if he lost, the video would pretty much be over. <laughs> Later, guys, take it easy. Guys, I'm going to come back at you when he comes into the next match. All right, guys, here we go into match number two, going against Kota, and starts out with a prince in the back. So one thing we really don't talk a lot about here on the channel is the mirror spell. How do you use Mirror? When do you use Mirror? And you can tell that Soaking is a fan of using it rather liberally in these matches. He uses it a lot, so he's not afraid to use a card, even if the opponent has a spell in hand. And in this spell-heavy meta, which seems to be every meta in this game, it's actually proving to be useful because everything feels like in this game, it is trying to bait out a spell. Everything, right? So when you have Mirror as the player on offense or on defense, it doesn't matter uh you're actually given the luxury of being able to have that card right back again after you bait out their spell so maybe soaking is on to something here and if you guys don't have e-drag leveled up go ahead and summon e-wiz in the deck uh, of course it's not a perfect substitution nothing is for e-drag and i'm not going to sit here and pretend to tell you that there is a perfect substitution but i would think that would be your best bet the power of e-drag is and you can see it here guys is just against it's an air card that does so well against ground and air units and swarm units so it's just such a versatile card and I think that's where a lot of the strength of the card lies so here we go a big aggressive push coming in here the bandit charges through the log dark goblin actually does get a connection to that tower so here about 20 seconds or so left in a uh, single elixir time he gets
gets the tower down to 600, 634 HP remaining. So a nice little start here as we enter into double elixir time. Going to go ahead and get a, another bandit on the board. Uh, get that dash off and then this bandit will have to be responded to. It is in the form of a giant in the left lane. And it looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, reload with the E-drag. So we have an E-drag here against E-drag at the river. We have Dark Goblin set up, uh, chipping away at the uh, the Giant. And then finally, we see a Mega Knight play. The whole first match, we didn't need to use the Mega Knight against the Lava Loon matchup. And finally here, we are using it in Double Elixir time. He doesn't get a jump off on that Giant. In some matchups, obviously, Mega Knight's going to be incredibly crucial. In other matchups, similar to a P.E.K.K.A. in P.E.K.K.A. decks, in other matchups, you won't be using him that as frequently. So here we go. E-Drag's going to do a nice job of stopping that Prince's charge. However, he does get one kind of land stab into that left tower. We're going to send a Miner into the right tower. It does connect. The opponent gives the good game. So King returns it, and that's going to be a Mirrored Bandit, just for good measure, on the, uh, the left lane and that's going to be another relatively easy victory there. Let's go into the next match, guys. All right, guys, here we go into the next match. All we need are two more wins. Easy for me to say here. We're going against uh, Jose Bas or Jose Bas 10 from Netbreaker Clan. And we're going to start out with a bandit in the back. It seems to be So King's go-to starting move with this deck, guys. And again, with Mirror, you know, when you're playing this deck, when you're giving it a try, you, you might take a little bit of practice to get used to it. So just keep that in mind that it's one of those decks where, especially if you're anything like me, you're not busting out that Mirror. And it's probably been a while since you've used the Mega Knight as well. So what is Jose playing here? It looks like it's too early to call but it's a fast kind of a cycle ish deck uh, with the bats in there, the skeletons, and the bar barrel, and now the dark goblins. So a little bit of bridge spam coming down. I, I fear that there's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. in this deck too. And if that's the case, then Soaking definitely is going to be in trouble here. So let's see how he handles this. Let's see if the P.E.K.K.A. comes down here. This would be the opportune time to use it. And there it is. Indeed, the P.E.K.K.A. is dropped. So the P.E.K.K.A. is going to do a, uh, a really good job of navigating through Soaking's deck. So Soaking's really going to be forced here to do some smart defensive plays and just not looking so good here guys I don't know what the spell is but if it is lightning then he's really in trouble because he's going to need to rely on these E-Dragons. So he's going to use the Goblin Gang there. Very nice defense there from Soaking. Needs to really rely on the Miner to get the most, the bulk of his damage in this matchup. Obviously, because it's going to be very difficult to get the rest of his troops through the P.E.K.K.A. onto the tower. So this is the matchup where he's going to have to chip and chip and chip away. Depending on what spell they have is going to dictate a lot of the other, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, trajectory of this match. So here we go. A miner going in again. We have the Dark Goblin still alive. Bats come down, take care of the Dark Goblin, but we do get a few swings with that miner. And uh, here we go. Another Battle Ram push, and there's the Mega Knight coming down again. Of course, he's just going to keep running into the P.E.K.K.A. as we go into double elixir time here. So we have Mega Knight at the bridge. There's the P.E.K.K.A. setup. I don't know. Like I said, it's going to be very difficult to bust through uh, against this, this really strong defensive deck here. So an E-Drag we have our mirrored E-Drag, so two E-Drags, three E-Drags on the arena right now, including the opponents. And, uh, the, oh no, it is lightning! Of course, it won't kill our mirrored E-Drag, but still, we're kind of in trouble here. I was gonna say, he has 10 Elixir, he just waited till the absolute last moment to drop that Goblin Gang there. And, uh, it worked out for him here. We have a Miner, does not get onto the tower, though. Really nice job by Jose, just cycling those cycle cards to keep that, uh, Miner kind of occupied there at the tower. So now we have an E-Drag coming down on defense, and the opponent responds with the same. So, this is a very interesting as we get into Sudden Death Overtime. Man, come on, so King, you got this, dude. <laughs> I really want this to go 12, uh, just for the video's sake. Of course, we're rooting for So King as well here. So here comes the Miner, the Mega Knight, the Bandit. Can it get a charge off? No. The Battle Ram place just in the nick of time, and the Pekka will get to the front of that Princess Tower there. That was a nice Miner by So King to the back of the tower to try to take that Pekka out of the lane, try to get a charge off with the Bandit. Didn't work out, but the right idea. This is going to be a monster push here. He sent in the minor 
He has six elixir right now, so let's see what he does. He doesn't want to drop too many troops, especially lightning value, but he has to do something here. Bar Barrel, Battle Ram, there's the Mega Knight. Very, very, very nice Mega Knight there. I was a little worried on that push, guys. Not going to lie, because... <laughs> If he didn't use Mega Knight there, if he used a, a, an E-Drag or a, even a mirrored E-Drag, he would have been in trouble because the Lightning was in hand uh, by the opponent there. So really nice defense. Now we have the mirrored E-Drag. He still has Lightning in hand, so I'd expect to see it right now, guys. The Bandit comes down just at the nick, in the nick of time there, but another Lightning connects to the tower, taking it down to 1126 HP. The Miner comes in. Ooh, the Bandit just barely again missing getting that charge off we do zap the bats so the miner gets some more damage but things are not looking great here as we're about a halfway through uh into overtime so the dark goblin down battle ram coming through is it going to connect no the e drag again placed in time really really good defense here by soaking however he does take one or two barbarian swings on that left tower here it goes another e drag we have a miner onto the tower again Pekka right at the bridge, blocking that bandit. Bats on our E-Drag. We take his tower down to 699 HP. This is an intense match. I can't believe that Soaking is still in it, honestly, guys. One bat on the Dark Goblin is down. Lightning comes down. That might have been an over-aggressive Lightning. Uh, Bar Barrel comes down. It's going to go ahead and kite that Mega Knight. Miner onto the tower. Bandit charge on the tower. What the heck? How did he win that? How did he win that, guys? Oh my god. Soaking is beast. We're going to give him the wow <laughs> and give him the GG. That was incredible, guys. I'm going to go ahead and come back at you into match number 12. All right, guys, here we are. The last match of the video, win or loss. This is already shaping up to be one of my favorite videos I think I've ever shared here on the channel. I just can't remember that last matchup, especially. It just it, it was just that one matchup. I wish we could start with that match because it was incredible. And here we go into what looks like a three musketeer deck. And we send in the, uh, the miner onto the pump. It's met with the opponent's miner. And we didn't get the pump and we didn't get any damage to the tower. So not exactly the start. That's so King was hoping for, and the opponent gives him the good game. So King returns the good game. Uh, I don't really think that means anything. Of course, we don't have a spell in this against three musketeers. Uh, which makes it pretty difficult, but we do have the Miner for the pumps as like a proxy card And we do have the Mega Knight for the two Musketeer lane So it's not, you know, it's not an impossible matchup by any stretch of the imagination So E-Drag goes against the Battle Ram here and we have a Royal Ghost It looks like the opponent's just trying to cycle to another pump and exactly they do that Let's see how Soaking handles it this time here He sends in the early Miner N Not to the pump though Nice juke play and the Mirrored Miner onto the pump Man! That was an OP play. Unfortunately, just at the last second, the Hunter does turn around and a point-blank uh, shotgun shot into the uh, the Miner's face there. But that could have been incredibly lucrative. It could have been tower and pump down had, th had that Hunter gone down just a fraction of a second earlier. Now we're in trouble here, though, because the Minion Horde's coming down. We have Dark Goblin, E-Drag. E-Drag's gone. Dark Goblin's going to clean up the best he can here, but still takes a lot of damage. 1186 HP remaining. Remaining on Soaking's tower. No, Soaking! We got about 70 seconds here left in regulation, guys. He's gonna have to get something going here. So a battle ram coming down the right side. That's gonna be easy to stop with just the goblin gang. Interesting battle ram by the opponent there. And then here comes a solo barb. He could mirror the goblin gang here. Let's see if he does. He does actually mirror that goblin gang. The mirror coming in handy here. And you can see kind of a really beautiful placement there with that miner. The, the, the most non-obvious spot. And we get that pump down. Now the tables are kind of turning here with about 40 seconds left in the match here, guys. We have to defend this push, which is going to be difficult. Look at all that coming down. Mega Knight comes down, but we need something else. A Dark Goblin. Okay, Dark Goblin is in hand. I'm losing track of his cycle here, guys. Dark Goblin doing a stellar job on defense on the right lane. Switches over to the left lane on that Barbarian. Oh my god, this is crazy. 20 seconds left in this match here, guys. Dark Goblin makes a temporary short uh, connection on that right tower. We have an E-Drag in the left lane. A Royal Ghost coming down. We have a big push, but we have enough elixir. One more elixir for Mega Knight. Mega Knight, Mega Knight. Right, there it is. Ooh, I was like, dude, where's the Mega Knight? Okay, that's cool. A really nice defense. And now we have a big push, counter push going down the left side. We combo it with the Miner as well. Zap is down. Bandit's on the tower. E-Drag's on the Barbarian. And just like that, he pulled it off! That is incredible, man. 
Soaking is a beast. That was so much fun to watch. Both the, the previous match and this match were really, really impressive. I hope you guys enjoy this deck. A huge shout out again to, to Soaking and, and all my Spanish audience, which is actually growing really fast here on the channel. One of my fastest growing demographics. So, uh, hola to you guys and gracias for watching. That was probably the cringiest thing I've ever done in a while. But guys, thank you so much to Soaking again coming on the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the deck and, uh, yeah, this guy's a beast. Uh, make sure you check out his stats and player profile in statsreal.com. Uh, unreal. Just, that's that's all I have to say about Soaking. Un unreal player. And uh, I'll be seeing him on December 1st for CRL World Finals. Hopefully, you guys will go and you'll cheer on Soaking as well. So, guys, huge shout out to Soaking. And, uh, of course, huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And, as always, take care, guys.